Hey everybody, welcome to another shop update here at Rogue Fabrication. We've been busy doing some testing. We've been busy here at Rogue Fabrication. We've been doing more testing, this time not on mandrel bending. We experimented with a new style of pressure die and it got our deformation on engine 5.8's 083 chromoly down from about 10%, which looks pretty flat on the outside, uh, down to about six. So I wanna show you guys exactly what that looks like and basically how round that is on the outside of the bend. Uh, it ends up looking really quite nice. And the cool thing about this is we're able to do this testing on this really expensive material, which Right now it's about 10 or $11 a foot. And since we can do S bends in the M600, uh, we didn't have to waste a lot of material doing this test and we were able to just do bend after bend after bend. Uh, some of the other things we've been doing is making sure that we're keeping up with all of the demand challenges during COVID. So that's included, uh, you know, still hiring more staff, doing more training. We're still shipping orders really quickly and we appreciate all the great questions you guys have had. We also just came out with a catalog. This is our brand new catalog. It's got a nice, beautiful, velvety feeling cover, and of course, table contents and all of the high points of our product line. And this is a really cool thing that we haven't uh, ever done before. Despite being a 10 year old company, we've never had an actual printed catalog. If you want a catalog, go ahead and email us at sales at roguefab.com or just leave a comment below and say, please message me, get my address, I'd like a catalog. Don't post your address in the comments. You guys have probably also seen some of the other test posts that we've done on possibly Instagram. So we've been testing some experimental mandrel stuff. This is some two inch, uh, this is 065 wall, so it's extremely thin. And this was done on an experimental setup on our current mandrel 2.0. So that's the version of the mandrel we've been selling for a little bit over a year. And it's got some extra features to attach more tooling to it. That is the tooling that was used on this. Um, so if you buy a current mandrel, someday it will likely be able to achieve this performance. This is a two inch 065 bent on a five inch radius. Of course, this is heading toward uh, mandrel bending of headers in house. Uh, Turbo LS headers are extremely expensive. And um, this would allow you to bend some of those bends in house, saving you from buying bends. So when you weld those up, you could actually make quite a bit more profit on them. And uh, this does have less than 1% deformation. You can probably read my chicken scratch on there, that 0.8%. Um, that 0.8% is actually less than 1% ovality overall. So it's an extremely good high flowing bend. We achieved similar results on this material. This piece is super, super lightweight, has quite a few wrinkles and some failed areas. Uh, this bend right here is probably the best one in here. It's got a little bit of uh, defect in it, but this is only two inch 049 wall stainless. So this is very, very thin and stainless is extremely prone to wrinkling compared to carbon steels like chromoly and just 1020 DOM. So this stuff's even harder to bend than those materials uh, without wrinkling and it bent beautifully. And uh, this one had, I think, yeah, still under 1% deformation overall. So the outside of the bend is nice and round. And the cool thing about this one is just how interesting all the bends came together. Um, so it's a pretty cool test piece, and this is just kind of leveraging uh, our R&D efforts to see what we can accomplish in the future as the M600 evolves and our product line evolves. That's basically the updates for this time around. Uh, we've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of R&D. We've been keeping up with shipping. We've got really low lead times, and as you guys already know, we stock all the dies that are on our webpage. So if you do see those dies, you're not sure if you can afford to get them all off the bat, you don't have to. You can just buy the machine with one die, get started with the setup like one of these ones behind me here. And then as your business grows, you can expand it and add all the dies as needed. Thank you guys very much.